know we learned this already, but I'm not sure if I made a video or not. So let's just quickly learn this. Because the book of Daniel says in uh, Daniel chapter 8, verse 5, Malchus Antiochus Nimshalais, that the kingdom of Antiochus is compared to a goat. Chenbus Miris. The Shabbos demos for Izamigdilatsumov. Also in the Sabbath hymns we say that the uh, leader goat he was tremendously strong. The reason we say that is because the goat is the arrogant brazen animal. And the, the, the sages say in the Talmud, in Be, in Be'a, which is the second chapter, that that's why it's called Ez, that's why it's, because it's Me'ez, it's arrogant, it's brazen, bold. That's why the goat is called Ez. So there's no more arrogant, brazen enemy of the Klal Yisrael and Antiochus, the wicked. Why? He was the most arrogant, brazen, among all of the enemies that we suffered. Why? Because obviously someone who defies the king's decrees in his house, in the palace, that's much worse than someone who it's much more brazen and arrogant than someone who violates his words outside of his house. And that's why he's so arrogant he wanted to take them out from the laws of thy will when the temple was still standing like that's not what the Egyptians or the Medeans or the Persians did there was no temple and then the, the Babylonians, the Romans, at least they destroyed the temple. They didn't go into the temple and insult in the temple and leave the temple standing. Obviously, it's worse to destroy a temple, but it's maybe worse to have a temple and for it to be defiled. Uh, and that's why Antiochus is called the mighty leader of the goats. He is the most arrogant most brazen there is. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. And Freilich and Chanukah. And as far as the Heilige Kaddish Slavi, the British of Rav Schussi, the Lenin Kassel Thank you. Be well. Let's turn this thing off.